Hello Virgo, welcome to your general reading for the first half of July. Hope you're amazing. This is general, as I said before, so it may not resonate for everyone. Check your moon rising and Venus. If you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. Or you can go to the website up above and I can do that for you. So Virgo, let's see what we have for you. General energy. Lately, I've been picking out three stories, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Great Adventure in the Flow. Joy and Delight. Oh, Virgo. Virgo, I feel like you had a moment of weakness where you stepped back. And this could be um, to a person or just thinking about like what has happened in the past. It's like you took a moment to focus on the past. Okay. Um, I do feel like you investigated the past made a moral decision not to do something or not to go in the past and to move forward because you didn't see it being a good part of your life right so i feel like you're noticing how you're going to notice in july i feel like i need to say july because this is still june that your life is actually good you know um, it may not be where you want it to be. I feel like this is a good time for you to take some sort of risk, like go on a trip or do something out of the ordinary for yourself. Um, but it doesn't mean come out of character, right? It's just a, a change of surroundings for you. And I feel like it's okay. It's okay for you to have this moment. I don't feel like you're going to get lost in the sun, right? <laughs> feel like you need a moment to, for you okay all right six of pentacles seven of pentacles three of swords judgment ace of wands the hierophant page of swords five of cups nine of swords bottom of the deck we have the lovers and the nine of pentacles yeah you had to make some sort of major decision in love or in your life about what it is you love this could be a feeling of being disconnected as well right and the focus now is to get back reconnected but more to yourself so it's going to be you doing something for you going on a trip buying yourself a nice bag whatever that is for you at this point because you're starting off with your own self-care your own building up of your own self and then you know everything else so really quickly, what do I see? I see you're a little bit hesitant about a choice that you have made, probably in the past. It's almost like you feel like you've done something wrong, but it almost it just feels like an energy to me. Like you may be having a little down moment. Um but I feel like you need to reconnect again spiritually. Maybe you need to find a church home if, if that's what you do. Or reconnect with your religion in some way. Yeah. It's like you're reconnecting. Either with you. With you or your faith, your beliefs. And I feel like that's what gets your passion back. Okay, so we're going to start in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Your passion is rekindled by you investing in something that you haven't been doing in a long time. So this, I say, going out with friends, um, going on a dinner date, um, finding a church home, like I said. But it's something about you reconnecting back with yourself. It's almost like you need something to believe in. It feels like you're wandering, or you were, and you need something to reconnect with you again.
Yeah, it kind of feels like you feel like things are superficial, like you're just kind of flowing, you're just going with the flow type of thing. Um, and you're ready for something to happen, but you have to go out to do something, to make something happen. It's not going to happen on its own. Yeah, that's the part you don't see, um, is that you have to be the one to make it happen. But I feel like you like the safety of what you've created for yourself. But you're not going to find that happiness unless you do that. Because you need to reconnect back with you. With who you are. With what makes you happy. You have to emotionally be ready to do that. To walk into the unknown. You're not going to lose anything. I feel like you think that you're going to lose something. But you're not going to lose anything. But you will find yourself. Okay. So then we have the six of pentacles. The seven of pentacles and three of swords. This is a relationship. Um, I feel like you tried to go back to something. Or you had memories of someone. But you see either by participating in it or just by what you've gained from it so far and I, I mean to laugh is that it wasn't balanced it's an unfortunate decision but things were not moving forward right you took a chance you thought about it you know it is what it is okay I do feel like you tried and I feel like this per this person put in as much as they can give you and it still wasn't enough there still needed to be some changes you know you can't you can't change a bottom line issue you know you can work on things but this was something big that you just couldn't get over that something that they cannot change about themselves even though they may try and you had to leave that alone you had to move on from that yeah definitely your intuition was yelling at you from the beginning but I feel like you tried anyway um, and you tried to keep a, a balanced, a, um, what's the word that I want to use? I don't want to say nonchalant, but you tried to be fair. I'm going to say that. You tried to be fair in your dealings with this person, right? And their actions, the things that they said. But as you looked at what they were investing and how they were participating in this relationship, you had to let it go. You did, you know. You realized that holding on to this was just a vain thing that you wanted to do. Yet you're wiser now and this is just not a part of your life anymore. Page of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. There's something that you want to do, Virgo, and I feel like that you should do it, right? I feel like you're... You're watching someone else do something or just wanting an experience. And I feel like you should do it. There's no reason at all for you to be withdrawing or not giving yourself a prize. <laughs> you know, um, I feel like you're worried about what's going to happen. Like, you're like, I don't do things like that. Or normally I don't go on trips. Or normally I don't buy myself these expensive purses. But I feel like, you know, you should do it. Do it for yourself. Yeah, I feel like it's going to rejuvenate you, which is the reason why it was coming up in your energy and your spirit and your mind anyway. Um, but you're worried about maybe the money you're going to lose or stepping away from things or I don't know. It's like you're what are you scared of? You're scared you're going to miss something. Some of you are thinking about moving or leaving somewhere and you're scared you're going to miss some sort of opportunity it could be in love there's a lot of emotion here but this is what's holding you up it's it's holding you up it's not helping you this these ideas i feel like if you budget and prioritize and don't you know don't get the five thousand dollar bag get the five hundred dollar bag you should be fine I feel like you, you're able to take control of that. This is a step for you to build some confidence in what it is you can achieve and at the same time have some sort of adventure. So it looks good. Okay, Virgo, let's get some spirit messages for you.
I do the best I can. Absolutely. I am kind. And I respect the property of others. Yes. So Virgo, I'm hearing that you have to accept that somebody's mind is their own mind. You can't change them, unfortunately. Um, if someone's lost in their sadness and anger and, and they won't grow up, that's on them. It has nothing to do with you. It's just because you're a nurturing, caring person that sometimes you let people into your space for too long trying to heal them or help them. And this is your chance to realize that you did what you could with what you had and now it's time to focus on you, okay? So, Virgo, thank you for being here. I love you, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.